but I will always be loyal to Elliot. Woo! Do Elliot, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another TV show reaction and commentary. And today, we're going to be continuing on with Mr. Robot Season 3, hopping into Episode 3. Um, yeah, I'm excited to continue the show, as you guys can clearly see from the other episodes that I've watched on this channel and just kind of constantly gush about when it comes to the storytelling, the filmmaking, the characters, the story at hand and where it could potentially be going, like the theories that are, you know, working in my head they're getting to the point to where they sound sci-fi and i don't know that's just me going a little bit too crazy maybe it's because i read a lot of sci-fi books i'm not sure but um i think it's a really cool interpretation just for the show in general for the fact that it could go in a potential where you know we're breaking realities and stuff like that i feel like the fact that it embodies surrealism that much um plays its hand really well because you're not sure how far this story can go and nothing seems quite too far off and I feel like that's really really cool so I'm excited to continue on with this story and I'm happy that you guys are too uh, Mr. Robot is definitely you know what I've noticed at least underrated amongst the TV shows that we've watched on here and it's really um, I don't want to say unfortunate but it's definitely interesting as to why that is I don't understand why i don't get why maybe it's because it was just overshadowed by other shows i i don't know what came out around that time but um very very shocking to have this show not really get as much love as breaking bad better call saw um not just on this channel but just in general from what i'm hearing and what i'm seeing it seems like it's very underrated whenever talked about when it comes to you know great tv series because i definitely would consider this are you guys kidding me man this is this is really damn good so yeah i'm gonna continue on with this i'm gonna push it all the way through we're gonna you know make sure that we um, finish this strong um because yeah this is just exciting just for me in general it's it's such an engaging body of work so um guys i hope that you guys are just as excited as i am if you guys want to be able to support support the channel the best way to do it is by checking out the patreon if you want two episodes per week rather than one you can also support the, cha uh, the, the channel by leaving a like comment and subscribing at the end of the day you don't have to do any of those things just sit back relax and get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into more mr robot i think you're beautiful i want to take you home detectives came by they want to speak with you they found a body yeah joanna's dead <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy our network was compromised yesterday. That server needs to... I saw a comment saying that um, Joanna was like a wasted character. I can I can see why you would say that, but I don't think a character is wasteful just because they're dead, you know? Like, I don't think Shayla was a wasted character, you know? <laughs> I feel like for what the character's purpose was and... Act with me. The motion they brought forth to the story... And just to just the overall narrative is enough. <laughs> I think Joanna was a great character. Remember the night of the hack. But that's just an opinion. So I totally get it. I can see why. Again, I get why you would say that, but I don't know. I feel like she's not a wasted character just because she's dead. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a flashback. Because that place is uh Still up and running. I'm pretty sure that got raided by the FBI. That's where he puts the gun in the popcorn. No, this is where he takes the gun from the popcorn. Oh, wait a minute. I love when they do that. I love when they just show the flip. Holy crap. Wait, wait, wait. Do you not understand what just happened? The only thing that happened is the gun jammed and won't happen no, again. No, no, no. This is proof. Don't you understand? This is proof. Proof of what? He was actually going to kill Tyrell right there. Holy crap, bro. <laughs> he was actually going to kill Tyrell right there. What the heck? And then Tyrell's just being an anime villain. I love this dude. <laughs> I don't know, but shit happens all the time. This wasn't chance. This was an act of God. And we have been invited into his circle to lead this revolution. Dude, this is insane. 
do you guys see why I'm thinking of these theories? Because the the characters are quite literally enacting them. <laughs> Their beliefs are powerful in this in this series. Thank you, Elliot. And it switches right back to Elliot. That's insane. The way that they are doing this so often in this season is just rewarding. It's so rewarding. I love when they do that. You might just be the perfect kind of crazy who can protect me from me. Mm. And that's how he dawned the, the trust of shooting Elliot. Which is really weird to think about considering this is Elliot. <laughs> we'll try and collect all the paper records from the local town halls and banks across the country. Titles, deeds, loan records, bank statements. They just walked right in. They're just walking right in. You guys didn't put a lock on or anything? You guys didn't set booby traps? Okay. All right, Mr. Welly, come on. Let's go. No one's going anywhere until you tell me what... Damn. Yeah, bro. You probably should have booby-trapped that place, man. I don't know why you guys didn't do that. That's crazy. I'm so excited to see where the story is taking us. <laughs> I am excited. I just really want to see where we go from here. And we're only on season three. That's the craziest part. You got the soundtrack that's just overlaid from this. Like, <laughs> it turns into a horror film. What? You know, I'm very happy that we are following Tyrell's journey, especially after Joanna's death. Because, man, I wonder how he's going to feel about that. All enclosed by ground sensors and IR motion cameras, wrought iron gates. This place is like a chastity belt. Nothing's good. This place is like a chastity belt. That's <laughs> that's a crazy way to <laughs> that's a crazy way to say that. <laughs> Yo, that is funny. He said, "Come on, you should know a little bit of English right now." So that's crazy. That's crazy. What? I was like, yo, I recognize him. He's the reporter. What? Oh, my God. He was in his pocket, too? Any chance Obama goes after him? People love to defend anything he hates. Also, there's a new narrative I would like. <laughs> that's so... That's so... Man, that is... That's... This show is deep, bro. <laughs> this show is pretty... It's pretty based, bro. <laughs> I love it. I may have a potential candidate for president I want you to back. Now, I've created tens. Oh, man. Oh, man, dude. Oh, my God. When did this come out? When did this come out? I mean, the guys are like, Like, what was happening during this exact episode? Hi, Mr. Williams. Please, come, come, have a seat. <laughs> Who the hell are these people, bro? <laughs> Who the hell are these people? <laughs> oh, my goodness. We understand you were working with Elliot <laughs> on stage two. Uh, what the for your back. What the hell are these people, man? <laughs> we are being introduced to so many things. It's so great. I love it. What does this have to do with... Did you kill Sharon Knowles? No. Do you love your wife? What is this? Do you love your wife? Of course I do! Have you slept with anyone else? Doing a doing the Blade Runner test. That's crazy. Doing the Blade Runner test. No. Do you hate your father? <laughs> yeah. Damn. What, what type of test is this? He's just over here snorting crack. <laughs> Smoking, well, he isn't smoking anything. I don't know what he's cooking in that kettle. But I will always be loyal to Elliot. Woo! 
do Elliot, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Elliot just has his man like in his sights forever. He's been in this in this in this <laughs> in this realm of God tier to Tyrell for the longest. Begin reconnaissance. You'll receive a phone and a laptop with a VSAT to a satellite that we control. To a satellite they control? That is insane. I guess it is China. Oh it man. Was, uh, Mr. Alderson's request. Red Wheelbarrow? Isn't that the name? That's crazy. That's the, that's the place where people were eating food at. <laughs> Bonsoir. Elliot. <laughs> Jeff likes it hot. I love that we're filling in the gaps here. I love that we are. They didn't have to. They could have just left everything up to mystery, but... You can lose your mind up here alone. This is the best way to get you centered. Balance is key. Let me walk you through another. Man said, you need some physical therapy right now. This is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous plot of land they have. I used to do it as a child. Why'd you ever stop? Because I hated it. <laughs> He's like, all right, <laughs> I'm going to leave you to it. This leads up to the point where Johanna is just dead and he gets that information. What the hell is going to happen, bro? Malware is already installed. Just need you to mod it and do your thing with the antennas. Cool. I hit this up. Ah, cool shot. Cool shot. I love now, kid. this, this shot from above and house. how that is just composited. That's really cool. <laughs> Something like Better Call Saul would do. Ah, oh, man. And just to see what has happened now. Yikes. Bye. Man, they are giving a, a ton of context to, like, the, the glue to some of these missing pieces. Elliot and I should be working on this together if we were in the same room this group and you done. Are you finished? Tyrell with the beard is kind of cool, man. I dig him. He's almost looking like the Winter Soldier. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is, uh... This is gonna get real ugly. Ah, I love how it keeps flashing back to those words. Man on the side. Yikes. Man... Thought this might cheer you up. Help remind you of the old cut. Oh my god, he actually got a box of Swedish fish. <laughs> I guess the bag is within it, but I've always I've always seen the bag of Swedish fish. Yeah, that's not fucking weird at all. <laughs> that's not weird one bit. <laughs> That's crazy. He went like two feet outside of the property and ran into a county police officer. <laughs> what is he, in like the Pine Barrens of New Jersey? Yep, I'm looking at him right now. Yes, sir. I have the coordinates plugged into my GPS. They're gonna kill this cop. This cop is gonna die, bro. I just had a hunch. Do you speak English? You just got me a promotion, you know that? Oh, man. Holy crap. Tyrell, bro. Tyrell, brother. Come on, man. No one's going to believe this. Ah. Uh, man, maybe Tyrell's just going to kill him. Jesus, dude. I can't see him break his thumb, man. That's disgusting. I don't want to see that. I'm still gonna look though. Look at me. Oh! Man, I hate that. 
It's crazy. I can see blood and guts on, on the screen, but dear God, if someone breaks their thumb. I was thinking you guys were going to send the cavalry. Yup. 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 Yeah. Yeah, that is dark army, man. Dear God, he broke his thumb for no damn reason. Oh, man. Yeah, I figured. I figured as much. We said this. We said this. In season two, we've said this. With this FBI hack, it's left us in a shitstorm over Berenstain. Shit happens. <laughs> Today wasn't our best day. You just said shit happens. We took care of it. That's crazy. We? Yeah, him and Lalo would be best friends, man. Or worst enemies in the best way. What happened? I was lost. As lost as you are right now. He could be making this all up, by the way. And have to chop in a fuckload of wood. He could be absolutely making this all up. But he seems like the type of person to use the truth to do exactly this. So he could not be lying either. Give me a few more weeks. And I promise. You'll see him. Yeah, and we can see how Joey Badass character was put into play with this. Damn, the Dark Army really has their hands in everything. It's kind of absurd. You couldn't relate to him. Take my dumbest, for example. Yeah, so what? You don't even have kids. Point see, is, people want a connection. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying, bruh? Like, him and Lalo are just... <laughs> so, how'd it go? It was cool. Here we go. Got to stab up a bunch... We got Joey. <laughs> Man, the murdering and shit, because I respect life and all, but when it come to neo-Nazis, well, shit. Not going to lie, it was kind of fun. <laughs> He's just like, man, what the hell? <laughs> Go get packed. He's being released. Yo, Tyrell in his get-up is pretty fire. I'm not I'm not sure why he just he rocks the beard look, he rocks the you know <laughs> off the radar look pretty well. It's kind of good on him. Yo, this man's always munching on something, bro. Like what the heck? <laughs> it's good. I'm happy to see somebody eating food. <laughs> Who would that guy be as an animal, you know? Who would he be? Like, what would Tyrell be and who would this guy be as an animal? I don't know why I'm thinking of that. Maybe because of the Fargo reference, but it's interesting. He won't know where you're going until you tell him. If you get hungry, just call for room service. Sometimes weirder characters, you know, when they are brought to... You know, characteristics of an animal. They can explain more ambiguous, you know, characteristics. Man, just Patrick Bateman. <laughs> this man is damn near ready to walk into a building with headphones on and just stare. <laughs> Terrell. There's something that I need to tell you wow. about. Oh, wow. Is she going to tell him about Elliot's condition? <laughs> Woo! I love that. That was cool. <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. This episode is so good. It's so good, man. <laughs> Guys, I am locked in. I'm locked in. I am locked in. I've, I'm so immersed within the show. It's so difficult. Sometimes I'm like, I forget that I'm even like, like doing a, like this on a YouTube channel. <laughs> Sometimes I, I just be forgetting. I, I literally just like focus it and it just feels like I'm just sharing this experience with myself. <laughs> That's crazy. Guys, this show is doing such a phenomenal job. And this episode was just a phenomenal uh, episode in terms of gluing everything together. I'm surprised they didn't get us to the point to where Joanna has died and just to give us that reaction from Tyrell, but maybe that is saved for later on. 
Um, but I am just grateful to have this episode just in general, just to see what Tyrell has been up to. And then just seeing all the different connections that the Dark Army has. And then, you know, having the tie in with the FBI agent within that. I mean, we kind of suspected as much, but it's really cool to finally be able to have a, um, a red dot on it now. Um, and just, again, this character that, that's popping around. I'm forgetting his name, um, but he's fascinating. You know, he's the Lalo of this universe, and it's so fascinating to watch him work amongst other people. He's meeting all of our characters, by the way. I think that's really great. It's such an interesting funnel and, and a different way to approach our characters when you have this constant person that is meeting all all of them and engaging with them in a way where they can't really seem to figure him out that's really cool um but yeah i'm very excited to continue this i'm gonna hop right into the next episode so again if you're on the patreon i'll see you all in a few seconds but everybody else will see you all next week stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. purple jacket pocket full of weed everything that i should ever need grab some matches because they give them free just like my time Pull back in the backseat